Hey, I'm Mark with Affordable Solar, and uh, we also make permanent magnet low RPM generators. Uh, we've made several of them. This one um, weighs 135 pounds. There's 28 magnets spinning around, uh, 28 coils of wire. We use uh, this particular one has 15 gauge wire in it. Uh, you could also use 18 gauge. 18 gauge you'll get more wraps and higher voltage. Uh, I'm trying to keep my voltage between uh, 18 and 45 volts on this particular model for the RPMs we're using. Uh, it's a heavy duty um, system. We start with a, an axle, 3,500 pound axle, heavy duty bearings. It has a, a Zerk grease fitting where you can maintain it. Uh, you may once a year tighten the bolt a little bit, squirt a little grease in it to keep it up. All these parts are uh, machined, turned on a lathe, precision, and it's balanced. Um, this is something that should last for generations. You can hand down to your children if maintained. Uh, we, uh, this is where you will mount to a pole or whatever you're going to use it for. It can be used for a vertical windmill as well as horizontal or uh, in hydro. Uh, I actually have this on another YouTube turning down at a creek I have with a dam in it, uh, generating electricity. It has two uh, bridge rectifiers in it because it's a uh, double phase. And we have our stator, the casting that we make ourselves. And it's also turned on a lathe. This one hadn't been turned yet. And it has three rings of of iron put in it to control the eddy currents and to give it some strength. By having a small amount of iron in it, uh, you have a quicker, easier startup. So this generator is designed to turn in very low wind and put a, a lot of output out uh, when the wind does pick up some. Most of the windmills out there, they don't even start turning to 8 to 12 mile an hour wind and they produce very little until you get a 20 mile an hour wind. And most people don't have a 20 mile an hour wind all the time. They may have a 5 mile an hour wind. This is going to give you something in a 5 mile an hour wind. Uh, we're going to hook it up now and I'm actually going to spin it by hand. We're going to hook some meters to it and uh, do a quick test on it. We got it hooked to the table temporarily. I'm going to show you how easy it is to start spinning. You can see just, just effortless. And uh, I'm already at two and a half, three volts. So at a really low RPM, just this fast I am I'm at 13, 14 volts. And it's around 40 RPMs just guessing. I, I don't have an RPM meter on it. Uh, we're going to put a load on it now. When you're checking the device, you can't, you can't um, check it without putting a load on it. I see people, they're checking their stuff. They'll put a voltmeter with no load, and uh, then they'll put an amp meter and short it out with no voltmeter, and they'll say, oh, you're getting all this amperage, but that's not true. You have to have it hooked to a load. In my case, the battery is going to be the load, and I'm going to have an amp meter between... Uh, one wire and it's still going to have the voltmeter so you can see exactly what it's doing. Now I'm only going to be powering this with one arm so I'm not going to get a whole lot out of it. We'll get about 130, 140 watts. That's about it. But, uh, we're going to hook it up now and I'll show you in just a second. We got it hooked to a battery which is our load. You can see we're running a little over 12 volts and an amp meter and I'm going to start spinning it and soon as I get over 12 volts, it starts charging. You can see I am at 2 amps, 13 volts. And I'm going to put a little more power into this. And you can see well, my meter. At just a little bit of effort, I'm, I'm pushing 5 amps and 15 bolts. And if you get a shot of me spinning it, you can see how slow that it's going. And, uh, at about 100 RPMs or 120 RPMs, 
we were getting 100 watts. Uh, and about 170 RPMs, we were getting like close to 200 watts. Uh, that's about as fast as I've been able to spin it by hand in, our, in my hydro situation. Uh, again, it weighs 135 pounds. It'd have to be shipped by freight. It takes me about two weeks to build one of these. So if you order it and I don't have it in stock, uh, give me a little time to make it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video. Look to hear from you.